Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. In this video, we are going to be creating the highly requested Miraculous Ladybug Custom. I have with me today Pinkie Pie and she's going to be transformed into the Miraculous Ladybug. I'm starting off by using a little bit of acetone to remove her cutie mark, but I am not going to remove the eyes. I am going to keep them the same shape and color as Pinkie Pie. Now I need to remove the head. I'm doing that by twisting it to the side until it pops out. And if you notice, something really cool is actually happening here. It's never happened before. The neck plug that's connected to the head is staying connected to the neck plug that's connected to the body. If you've seen my other videos, you know that usually I pop off the head and have to cut off the neck plug, but this just saved me an entire step because the neck plug just stayed connected to the body so that is super neat um i'm not going to spend a lot of time removing this plug i want to keep it all together so that way the head can still move so i'm going to be rehairing the tail a little bit differently than i normally do I guess this is kind of like a cheat way to redo a pony's tail if you wanted to. I just cut off the tail, use some small scissors to cut it as short as I possibly can, and then I'm just going to push what's left directly into the pony's body. And the body is completely ready to be customized. It's time to work on the head. I need to remove all of Pinkie Pie's pink hair. So I'm taking some big scissors and cutting off the hair as short as I possibly possibly can and then I'm going to switch over to some teeny tiny scissors and cut the hair all the way down to the scalp and she'll look like this but if you look inside the head you can see that the roots of the hair and all of the glue is still inside so using some pliers or tweezers go ahead and pull out all of those hair roots and clumps of glue until she's completely bald and now we are ready to start the transformation. For this custom, I am going to be using acrylic paint. I have Americana Cherry Red, which is a gorgeous bright red color. I was going to use my red Sally Hansen nail polish, but I swatched it and it was actually really, really dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the acrylic paint. And then I'm also gonna be using Americana's Flesh Tone. I'm gonna start off by customizing the head. The first step is completely covering the head in that flesh tone color I'm outlining the eyes first and then I'm gonna fill in the rest of the head Here's the first coat of acrylic paint, super, super patchy. So I am just going to let this dry and repeat with as many coats as I need to get a fully opaque coverage. So it took a total of four coats of paint to get a really good color. I have traced out the shape of her eye mask using a pencil. And now I'm going to switch over to the Americana Cherry Red. And using a fine paintbrush, I'm going to outline Ladybug's mask and then completely fill it in. Using a pencil to sketch out the shape of the mask is a really good idea because if you mess up, you can just erase it. Whereas if you go in straight with paint, if you mess up, you have to wait for the paint to dry and then you got to cover it and it's just extra steps. So I thought this would be a lot easier. So here's the first coat of red and it was very patchy. So I went over and I put three coats of red. Now I've switched to some black acrylic paint and I'm going to completely outline her eyes in black and that just gave it a little more definition 
Ladybug's mask does have black spots all over it just like a ladybug does in real life So I used my dotting tool to make the first dot right in the middle like she has and it was way too small So I used the end of a thick paintbrush to create a large spot I think that the large spots look a lot better than the small ones and they match the actual cartoon character a lot more and I'm placing these spots in the exact same area as the cartoon and that looks super cool it's time to start on the body using that Americana cherry red I'm going to completely cover the entire body until it is fully opaque so here is the first coat again extremely patchy I'm gonna go over this a couple of times until it is nice and even and you can no longer see any of that pink so here it is four coats later this looks really really nice it's time for her ladybug spots like i said earlier i want these spots to be really big i don't want to use the nail dotting tool because the spots are just too tiny um so i'm using the end of a thick paintbrush just dipping the end of the handle into a little bit of acrylic paint and then pressing down on the body to create these large dots and this looks really really nice the last thing to do for the body is add the black collar around her neck I've used a little bit of nail striping tape towards the top to just create a straight line there and I'm going to paint and fill that in with black acrylic paint and while it's still wet I'm going to peel off the striping tape and there is a perfect crisp line I love it now that the head and the body are completely dried I'm going to seal all that work in using this Delta sealer and let that completely dry once it has it's time for hair miraculous ladybug has this really cool hair it's black and it has bright blue highlights so what i've done is i custom ordered this hair it is a mixture of midnight blue and magic black what i'm doing is cutting it into strips that are one quarter length of the original strand and then i'm going to dip those little strands of hair in water just because it makes the hair easier to work with if you don't want to do this step you certainly do not have to to rehair i will be using my rerooting tool today it is basically a pronged needle i take a bit of hair around my finger like this and catch all the hair in the center of that needle and since it is very sharp you just decide what hole you want to put that hair plug in press down hard and just like that the first plug of hair is completely in and you can see on the inside where it has kind of anchored itself to the head and you're just going to repeat this process over and over again until she has a new gorgeous mane of blue and black. A miraculous ladybug does have bangs so I am only going to rehair up to the forehead area so I've done both sides and I did not go all the way to the top as you can see right here and what I'm actually going to do is create additional holes for hair in the front of the head to create her bangs to do this i am using a regular old needle that i've put into my tool here and i'm just going to press that needle in creating new holes for the additional hair plugs and i'm doing this because um, i want the bangs to be full and if i don't do this the bangs will look kind of thin since she only has two rows of hair right now 
once all the new holes are in, I'm going to go ahead and finish up rerouting her. But I'm going to switch to strands of hair that are 1 8th the length of the original strand. So I have cut the hair that I have left in half. Since her bangs are not that long, I don't want to waste any of this hair. So let me just pop all of these additional hair plugs in. Once all of the bangs are in, I like to use a little bit of Elmer's glue to glue the hair to the actual head and then use a twist tie to secure the hair around the head so that way as it dries, it, it's kind of trained to lay down completely flat. I am putting a little bit of no sew glue directly into the head and I'm going to evenly distribute that glue using a q-tip and what that does is make sure that none of the hair plugs fall out. Now for the tail, I have a little bit of hair that I have secured with a twist tie and like I said earlier, I don't normally do the tails like this but I wanted to leave the neck plugs in place. I have poured a little bit of Gorilla Glue directly into the tail hole there and I am going to use the end of my scissors here to press that tail directly inside of the pony's body. And once the glue dries, the tail should be completely secured. And just like that, she has a new blue and black tail. The last step is going to be adding a little bit of Gorilla Glue around the neck plug up here and then reattaching her head. So let's check out the finished product. Here she is. The custom miraculous ladybug pony. And you can see that the trick with a little bit of Elmer's glue and the twist tie has made the bangs in the front lay down completely flat and it looks really good. But be careful not to use too much glue or it will start to turn white. I have also put her hair into two little pigtails and trimmed it down. I think she came out so adorable. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and good luck with making your own miraculous ladybug. Thank you so much for watching little pandas. Until next time, bye! You can find me online. For the latest news and updates for the channel, you can follow me on Instagram, Manda Panda Toy Collector, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or you can add me on Snapchat, Manda Panda TC. Want to mail something? You can. Send it to Manda Panda PO Box 65105, San Antonio, Texas 78265.